Jones, and I'm here at the third annual African Grill Book Fair for our children. Third annual African Grill Book Fair for our children. African Grill Book Fair for our children. For our children. For our children. There you go. And I'm here with Mr. Gillette Dickens. 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 And we're going to do an interview. Mr. Dickens is going to share with us because he's been the sponsor. He's had, yeah, well, I met him last year, and uh, he seems to uh, have this heart for our people, our children, and for learning. So, just want him to give a brief overview of uh, this real book fair and uh, why he started it and how long it's been in existence. Can you do that for us, Joe? Sure, sure. Thank you. Good morning, family. My name is Gillette Dickens, and I'm the, uh, I don't want to say an originator or, or organizer, because I'm just doing what I was told. So, I'm the gentleman who listened and put together the book fair here for the children. And the reason I did it is because there's a, a gap between children and their ancestors and their grandparents, and I wanted to do something that would bring those two facets together again. Um, I started the book fair three years ago. This is our third year. And um, we can really use sponsors. And um, I, I do this every year for the kids. It's absolutely free. We've got storytellers here. We've got uh, free food for the children, coloring books, all kinds of books for the kids, authors that have traveled as far as from Pennsylvania to come down to be a part of this. And um, it's a wonderful event. And, and I just want the people to come out and give the kids an alternative uh, information other than what they see on TV and radio. So we wanted to give them culturally reflective images and try to switch that, di di that, di that diagram that diagram around where the kids are no longer just running in the streets and they have something to look forward to. So we want to teach them about their ancestors, about their cultural history, and try to show them how important they are. So maybe if we do that, we can create some of this crime that's going on in the city and let the kids know how worthy they are and what they are and who they are. So that was really my reasons for doing this. With the support of my family and, and my real family, I've been able to do so. And I look forward to doing it again next year. Thank you, thank you for the information. Now, um, is, there a, is this an ongoing situation? Hopefully. We're looking for sponsors now to, to probably come in and, and, and pick up the tab for what we do. And um, yes, I, I look forward to doing it every year. Okay. Okay. Yes. So sponsors can contact who? Gillette Dickens at Changing Lives Maryland 1 at gmail.com. That's all lowercase. And the letter 1, the alphabet, the number 1, I'm sorry, at gmail.com. It's Changing Lives MD1 at Maryland at gmail.com. Okay, one more important question. So, speaking of sponsorship, what are you, what, what are you actually looking for? What do you need? Well, our, our need right now is books and, and, and just sponsorship for food and things like that. We can always use books. We can always use sponsorships for food, fruit, things like that. So that's the kind of sponsors we're looking for. It's not really an expensive deal because a lot of the stuff is donated and free. So we could just use a sponsor to pick up the tab on those little things that, that we can use, you know? Okay. Well, Mr. Gillette Jenkins, thank you. And we're going to go around, uh, since we're here, we're going to interview everybody because we have other vendors out here and um, kids who've done books and that sort of thing. So, um, and everybody can see this uh, video on social media. Uh, it'll be edited. Please do. Join I'll us. send it to Gillette and then everybody else can catch it on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, LinkedIn. Okay. Thank, thank you again. Thank Gillette. you. Uh, here we are, the griots, the griots are the storytellers and they're the keepers of the history of our people. So we're here today to let you know that the circle is indelible. It will not be broken, it cannot be broken because the energy level from earth to the universe is all on one accord. We welcome each and every one of you. We bring you blessings from all the spirits. We throw the universe at your feet. And we grab you and bring you in. And Dr. Quinn
I want you to breathe in the newness. Just breathe in the newness. The day you'll get in the newness. With all the energy that's going around us that's so negative and forth field of lightning speed. Just one interception from a group of people and the wind, we can blow all that negativity out. Yes. We're gonna welcome the day one of a world renowned, no, fabulous. She can shake her head in my back and she can say what she wanted, but without her energy, without her blessings, without her standing on the forefront of Baltimore's children for so many years, I don't even know if they recorded it correctly. <laughs> but today I just want to welcome some very spiritual energy here to help us keep everybody on the same accord so our children will know that we the elders, we the elders got the nest for y'all to rest in. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mother Maria Blue. But before I even speak, my daughter, my sister, Amachandra will pour libations for ancestors. All right. May we all breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Mother, Father, God, we begin pouring libation to the great source energy known by many different names, but we call you Oladamare. We call you Oladamakrama. We call you, we call you by so many divine and heavenly names, but right now we understand that you are light, love, and the source to which we all must return and that which we came from. So we began by opening up the space in that divine connection. And as we move from that divine connection and we honor that divine connection to our truth, we say Ashe. Ashe. As we pour libation to our divine source, we then open up to all of the energy beings and all of those ancestral angelic beings that are coming and teaching us, those guides leading us in the way, known again by many different names. We can call them angels. We can call them Abosun. We can call them Neturu. We can call it the wind. We can call it the water. We can call it the trees. We can call it the children. We can call it the ancestral energy. 
but we understand that all of that ancient energy of the mothers and the fathers and the earth and nature are all going joining with us at this time in this place to honor the energy of the story the, the energy of the griot and the energy of community and we say ashe. Ashe. and we invite at this time our ancestors into this space we invite them to come up speaking to us from the sound of the drum the feel of the earth the wind the, the, the voice in the wind you pour libation to our ancestors and as we begin pouring libation we begin enunciating and calling their names and we're calling them forward and we call our ancestors forward and we begin by calling their names and as i call my names you will join me as we enter their names and utter their names into this space let's begin we pour libation to Malcolm X we pour libation to Yasatua we pour libation to Harriet Tubman we pour libation to Nat Turner we pour libation to Ashe 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 and as we pour libation to all of our natural ancestors we cannot forget our blood ancestors Please welcome your family close. Bring your family close to you. Let's pull libation to our grandfathers, our grandmothers, to the children in the wings of the future. Let's pull libation to our ancestral energy, our bloodlines, those who come and come through us, guiding us and teaching us and showing us every day. Let's call them close. And as we pour libation to our ancestral energy, we say, Ashe. And as we pour libation to the ancestors, must for libation to our divine selves, the representation that we are on this earth, that we are all that is and we have all that we need, we must remember. We must remember who we are, we must stay in alignment with our truth, and we must continue to continue to continue to keep being ready and being ready and being ready for all that we are, all that we ever will be, and we understand that as we stand, that is all we must do. That is all we must do. Breathe. That is all we must do. Let's breathe. Because it's all we must do. Let's love. That is all we must do. Let's love. That's all we must do. Let's stay clear. That's all we must do. Let's stay clear. That's all we must do. Stay in alignment. fire. Homa fire. I ask everyone to sit up nice and tall, especially you little ones, so they can see. Okay, good. Put your first finger and thumb together on each hand. Rest them on your legs. This connects your inner spirit with your outer personality, so that the way that you feel inside is how you express yourself outside. And now listen, listen, listen. Buswaha Agnaye idam namama Buswaha Vayave idam namama Suswaha Suryaya idam namama Bua Swa Swaha Praja Pataye Idam Namama P. 
peace and joy upon the earth and to the people of the earth. Let the babies grow up free and strong with minds of peace and happiness in love. Peace and joy upon the earth and to the people of the earth. Let the babies grow up free and strong with minds of peace and happiness in love. Now I want you to repeat after me and use your hands in sign language like mine. I'll go first. Peace and joy upon the earth. Now you. And to the people of the earth. Let the babies grow up free and strong. Let the babies grow up free and strong. With minds of peace and happiness. With minds of peace and happiness. In love. In love. You just learned a new language, sign language. What's this the sign for? Babies. Babies. And what's this one? People. People. What do you think this one is? Earth. Earth, Earth or world. Very good. What's this one? Peace. 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 What's this? Grow up. Grow up. A little seed under the earth grows into a flower. What's this one? Strong. 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 What's this one? Free. 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 Yes. And this? Minds. Minds. And this? Happiness. Happiness. And this? Love. Love. Good. Okay, let's all do it together at the same time. Here we go. Peace and joy upon the earth and to the people of the earth. Let the babies grow up free and strong with minds of peace and happiness in love. Give yourself some snaps. We've got a couple storytellers here for you today, but I hear, I'm here to tell you one good one called Ama and her secret dances. A long, 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 long time ago, there was a woman named Ama, and she was the most beautiful woman in the universe. So beautiful that every day the children would come, they'd bring the grown-ups, they'd stand there, and they'd just look at her. And when they looked at her, they'd be so happy, They'd sing and dance and smile and spin. And that made Amma very, very, very happy. But listen, not only was Amma the most beautiful woman in the universe, she was the smartest. She knew everything there was to know. So every day the children would come, they'd bring the grown-ups, they'd stand there and they'd look at her, but they'd also listen to her. And when those children listened, they would learn things. And when they learn things, they'd be so happy, they'd sing and dance and smile and spin. And that made Amma very, very, very happy. Well, this lasted for a long time. Many years went by, many centuries, many eons, many millenniums. But over the years, Amma would look out sometimes and she noticed not too many children were standing there looking at her anymore. Not too many grown-ups were standing there listening to her anymore. And then one day, Abba looked out. Nobody was there at all. So she just walked away. She walked and walked and walked and walked. A million, billion, trillion, quadrillion miles away. And when she got tired, she just sat down. But she was so lonely though. She missed all the children and the people singing and dancing and smiling. So she decided, I'll sing to myself. There was no company for me at home. It's been a long time since I have left and still I am alone. But I give thanks that I have me. I give thanks that I am 
and she felt a little bit better after she sang it one time, she decided to sing it two times. There was no company for me at home. It's been a long time since I have left, and still I am alone. But I give thanks that I have me. I give thanks that I am. Well, she felt a whole lot better after she sang it two times. She decided to sing it three times. There was no company for me at home. It's been a long time since I have left, and still I am alone. But I give thanks that I have me. I give thanks that I am. Well, everybody knows. Everybody knows that if you sing a song three times in a row, <coughs> something magic happens. And sure enough, after Alma sang her song three times in a row, she gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. This was magic. This baby boy was so beautiful. He was bright and shiny like a star. She called him Daya, which means first light. What was his name? Daya. Daya. And Daya was smart. I mean, really smart. When he was two months old, Daya could talk. When he was four months old, Daya could walk. When he was only three years old, Daya could listen and learn anything you taught him. So by the time that Daya was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, he knew almost everything there was to know. So his mother thought, hmm, one day, one day my son is going to come running to me and I'm going to have to teach him my secret dances. And sure enough, one morning, Daya jumped out of bed. He came running up to his mother and he said, Ama, am I strong? And she said, Yes, Daya, I am, so you are. So she taught him her secret dance of strength. She said, put your feet together, hands in front of your heart, and just bounce. You reach out, out, breathe in, in. You just up, up, you bring it down, down. You reach out, out. ran off to be by himself so he could practice and he became so strong like an elephant then he ran back to his mother once again and he said Ama am I powerful and she said yes Daya I am so you are so she taught him her secret dance of power she said bend your knees arms over your head Ready now, move your stomach. She said, move over and under, move over and under, under, move over and under, under, move over when you get real powerful. After I learned that dance, he ran off to be by himself so he could practice and he became so powerful like an eagle. Then he went back to his mother once again and he said, Ama, am I wise? And she said, yes, Daya, I am, so you are. So she taught him a secret dance of wisdom so she knows things. She said, bend your knees, arms in front of your heart, let your hands just sleep. She said, right, right, sleep, right, 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 right,
ran off to be by himself so he could what? Practice. Practice, because just like your parents tell you all the time, all your teachers, all your friends, they say if you want to get good at doing anything, you always have to practice. Practice, and he did, and he became so wise, like Dr. Martin Luther King or Nelson Mandela. Then he ran back to his mother once again, and he said, Mama, am I beautiful? And she said, yes, Daya, I am, so you are. So she taught him her secret dance of beauty. She said, bend your knees, lift your chin up high, stick your fanny out, here we go. Hey, she said, right, right, and then left, left, and then right, and then left, left, and then right, right, and then left, left, and then right, right, and then left, left, and then right, right, and then right, right, and then right, right, and then right, right, Daya was happy. He was so happy and so excited. He had learned all of Amma's secret dances. But, but something was wrong. Something was missing. And he didn't know what it was. So he went back to his mother one last time and he said, <coughs> Amma, you told me that I was strong and powerful and wise and even beautiful. But how come I don't have any friends? Why am I so lonely? And she said, Yes, Daya, you are strong and powerful, very wise and awfully beautiful. But if you want to have friends, if you want all the children to like you and all the grown-ups to love you, then you must teach them all how to dance. So everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go, Fab. Let's go before y'all leave. We got to give y'all some light. You can't have love with no light. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find some light. You got light? You need got some light. light. She got light, y'all. Woo! So this time, you bring in the light. My name is Fallon Perry. Uh, this is my book entitled Dream to Be from A to Z. This is an alphabet book that I wrote last year for my daughter for her first birthday. Um, I wanted to show her all the things she could grow up to be from A to Z. So um, it's a very unique book. There are not a lot of books that show an African-American um, female as a main character. And there are also not a lot of books that show children what they can grow up to be. So for each letter of the alphabet, there's actually a different job title that a child can aspire to be. Um, the books right now are going for $17 today. And they're available on my website as well at www.fallonperry.com. Thank you. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to our wonderful book festival. My name is Dr. Courtney Davis and I'm here to introduce my book. There are two of them actually. They are S is for Southside as well as A is for Anacostia. Both of them feature uh, historic places and people in the region of the south side of Chicago as well as a historic area of Anacostia in Washington DC. Please come out and see me and ask me questions about the writing process as well as I'll share some more information about some upcoming activities such as the East of the River Book Festival and you can check out more information at www.eotrbookfest.com. Can you repeat that please? Sure. That's www.eotrbookfest.com. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings, my name is Aziza M, and I am the author of Corey's Dreams. The illustrator is Courtney Young. I am a pre-K and kindergarten teacher, and I wrote Corey's Dreams to help my students understand what a dream is as an aspiration, because they didn't understand. They took dreams, when you talk to dreams about them, they think of it as a literal dream, like I'm going to sleep and having a dream. And I wanted them to understand um, that they can have dreams and hopes for the future. So that's what Corey's Dreams is about. The illustrator are beautiful by Courtney Young. If you scan in there, you'll see the picture of Courtney Young. He's the illustrator. And that's Boy now, how do people get in touch with you? You can hit me up on Facebook, um, Corey's Dreams on Facebook. Um, you can also go to my website, um, coleaziza.com, and you can get in contact with Okay, hi, I'm Miss Barry Patterson. I'm out here today enjoying the festival. I'm the author of I'm Brown and I'm Smart, I'm Brown and I'm Pretty, Smile Bright Chocolate Prince, and Rock On With Your Afro Puffs. All of my books were designed to teach children that they're beautiful exactly the way that they are, and I just want to spread self-love to all of our babies. So come on out, come meet me, I'll sign your books. I'm excited to meet every, all the children, and um, thank you for coming out. We'll see you soon. How do we contact you? You can um, like my Facebook page. My name is Miss Barry Pettis, M R S B E R R Y hyphen P E T T U S, and I'm on Facebook. And my website is books by Miss Barry Pettis dot com. Thank you. Okay. Hello, I'm Tasha Vanzi of She from Our International. Today we're here at the African Grill uh, Book Fair selling our. Anchor game, Wits Games, which is a language arts skill sharpening game. It's a, a game that needs to become a household game. And we invite you to learn how to sharpen your skills with us at our Facebook page, which is Wits, W I T S. What is the sentence? And you can also find us on our website at www.sheformarinternational.com. That's www. S H E F O R M A R I N T L dot com. Uh, check us out. You can buy the game directly, no um, shipping costs, all taxes included. And we hope you take advantage of getting this game, which you're going to need and your children are going to need to sharpen their skills as they prepare to go into college and to take over the world. Thank you. All right. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Missouri and I make popcorn and lemonade. And do you do it every day or just sometimes? Just sometimes. Okay. Okay, so um, you have a special recipe for your lemonade? Yes. Okay, you gonna tell us or no? Okay, thank you for the interview, okay? <laughs> yeah. 
Alright. Hi, this is Janice Curtis Green with an E on the end from the Rio Circle of Maryland and the National Association of Black Storytellers. We're here today at Gillette Dickens' third annual Rio's Book Fair for Children. We have African American authors, we have youth authors, and young children who have written their own books. We've had storytelling by Grandmother Edna Lawrence, by Maria Broom, and myself. We are having a great time here today. There is food, there is fellowship. When it says it takes a village to raise a child, we are here in that village in historic Druid Hill Park, which has been our park for years. I remember as a child riding my bike with my brothers and sisters to the Druid Hill Park pool because all the other pools in Maryland were segregated. So here is where we came. Here is where I saw the first, for the first time in my life, someone that looked like me playing tennis. So I invite you to come out today, enjoy yourself, support children, support reading, support literacy in our young African American children. They're graduating from high school and they cannot even read nor write. Buy a child a book, you open doors that were once closed to them. So praise you and bless you. Thank God our Creator. I'm staying under this wonderful tree that reminds me of a baobab tree. The tree of spirit and life. And that is what I give to you. Spirit and life. Thank you. Oh, God. 